Big Mocker, good morning. First off, I want to tell you thank you for giving me this meeting. My name is Daryl Kaufman. I'm in the Media Communications Department at Full Sail University, and I have a project you're going to love. My project is called Sweatbox. It's a dry humor TV series that was inspired by my actual real life. The events that you're going to hear about, the characters you're going to hear about, I live with them every day. I am him. I am David, the main character. Let me explain. David's an early 30s American male. He's a blue collar, if you will. He works in a bread factory, but he knows he's meant for so much more. This story is about his struggles within this bakery as he tries to get out and try to provide a better life. But while he's there, he tries to make those around him get through their eight hour shift at the sweat box. Zach's the other main character. He's in his late 20s. He's the type of guy that says some really outrageous and funny things, but he doesn't know the actual crowd that it's meant for. He seems to make things a little awkward at times, but his goofy, lovable nature gets everybody involved. The conflict of the story focuses on the main character, David. As he starts his new job, he wonders about how these people got here. There's a union rumor to be coming in, and he worries that being a new guy, how will he survive in the sweat box? The story begins with David at his first day on the job. He meets Zach, who's been working there for about six months. Zach walks him around the plant, as you get to meet a lot of the other little zany characters that play a vital role to the story. David learns his job. He also learns that there's going to be a vote for the union on the way. He stands on his line and ponders what he's going to do as it does he want to join the union. As he's pondering this, a lot of crazy things go on. Bread starts to mess up, bread flying everywhere, the oven breaks. You get to hear a lot of the interactions that you would actually hear in a factory. This is quite hilarious. Over the span of a few weeks, the climax reaches a boiling point. David learns that he's being nominated by his co-workers to be one of the union stewards. He's not sure how to taste this, as he really doesn't want to be there. He dreams of bigger aspirations, but he finds out that life's hard getting around in the sweat box. He accepts the position and takes on a role to make the factory a lot better. Now, the main character, David, changes a lot throughout this story. He starts off as just wanting to get through the day, clock in, clock out, collect his pay. As he learns to love these characters around him, he realizes that he's meant for so much more inside this building. You see him take on a larger role. Within this role, he finds himself building strength within himself. Now, I wrote this project for quite some time. I found, actually, that people want to hear an actual continued story. I originally thought of the concept of having each episode have its own interactions, where none of them tie in together. The research around people I know and different things like that, I realized that people want a continued story. They don't want just separate episodes. I have a great director and producer already on board. I just recently got confirmation from BJ Novak. You know, the guy from The Office, the one that helped the U.S. version become so successful. Yeah, BJ Novak. He thought this project was terrific and said he's fully on board. Now you gotta understand, he's perfect for this project. The same humor that was used in the office and was so successful is basically the same humor from the sweat box. It's gonna be awkward, it's gonna be uncomfortable, but people are gonna laugh on the inside. BJ Novak knows how to do that perfectly and he's the best fit for this project. We also have signed a production company. We're gonna be working with Dick House Productions. They're the same ones that did all the MTV episodes for the Jackass and also worked on the Jackass movies. Now the reason this is so essential and this is so important to our involvement for the project is the fact that they have the ability to use the single portable cameras. This is what we want to use for this. The project itself needs to be shot like this so you can feel like you're in the actual bakery. And nobody does that better than Dick House Productions. They will literally make you feel like you are standing there inside the sweat box. Now the other part is we're going to use ThoughtFly Productions. ThoughtFly is one of the best production companies when it comes to lighting gear. Lighting is going to be essential for this project. In the bakery there's dark spots, there's light spots, and we need to make sure we have somebody that knows exactly how to capture these moments. The lighting helps the emotion and ThoughtFly Productions is one of the best in the business. Big Mock, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to me. Now I'm pretty sure you're going to hear a lot of other pitches, but let me tell you this. The sweat box itself it's going to be one of the best TV shows to ever air. It's going to push the envelope for comedy. And you, sir, want to be on that train. Take this step. Fund this project. Let's make history together. I thank you for your time, and I hope you have a good afternoon.